Hi guys, it's Jessie from Future Manifesto. So I am coming to you today from my floor. I wanted to show you um, a little bit of what I got, something that I cannot lift. So I thought I would show you. Oh, can you see it? This guy here. I'm gonna flip the camera around and give you a closer look. All right, so I got this five gallon pail of sugar scrub. So it's the OPI uh, Pet Essentials Tropical Scrub. This was my favorite smell from back in the day. I think they discontinued the smaller sizes a couple years ago. I've talked about this a lot on my empties channel, but how I loved it and I missed it. Um, they only carry it in the big sizes now. And I happened to be in Alberta for my kid's birthday. And um, I knew I was gonna be kind of shopping around and we managed to get into, I believe it's Alberta Beauty Systems. Um, I will put the correct name on the screen now if that's not it. But this is it beside my Helmer for my Kia. So obviously it is pretty big. This is just the inside of my storage closet where I keep kind of like extra stuff that I don't really need. Um, and I haven't opened it yet because I still have um, an 8.8 .8 ounce container that I'm working through right now. But when I open it, I will let you know how everything goes and what it looks like inside and everything. So I will uh, continue the haul of what everything I got at my desk. All right, I'm back from the floor. <laughs> so another thing I got from the same place is a gallon of acetone. Now, the reason why I picked this up is because it was the exact same price for a gallon as it is for a liter in Saskatchewan. So I was like, yay, Alberta. <laughs> so it will probably take me a long time to go through a gallon of acetone. I do use a lot for stamping. Um, I do some soak off clients and um, I do put a little bit in a mix with my alcohol to do my like prep and wipe type solution. So it will probably take me a little bit to go through all this, but I'm excited I got it. All right, so I thought I would show you um, some polishes from OPI I picked up. I picked these up at uh, International Beauty Supply here in Saskatoon. And uh, as you can see, they are a really good price and that's in Canadian dollars. So this is another romantic evening. Um, this is from the Tokyo collection. And this is Aragato from Tokyo. And um, these two, I was like, I've been eyeing up for a while. Um, I didn't want to pay full price for them, honestly. Um, but I was like, I'm sure I have something similar, but I will do comparisons at the end of the video and you will be able to see that they are pretty um, unique. And this one was from the Nutcracker collection. I do have the other two kind of glitter toppers from that collection and this was on sale and I was like, you know what? I might as well have all three, um, especially if it's on sale. Like, I mean, the OPI polishes can be pretty expensive, so when they do go on sale, I do like to pick them up. So on with the swatches, and they actually go on really decent in one coat. I feel like OPI has just been getting better and better at that, and it's really hard to pick up on camera, but there is a subtle shimmer to both of these, actually. Um, and not even really a shimmer, but like a iridescent to them and it's like even a little bit hard to see with the naked eye it's super super subtle once I get the second coat on and I get a little bit closer up you can see that it just gives it a little bit of luminescence I'll say so with this glitter topper and any other kind of like glitters like this in my collection I like to swatch it in a fade um, that way uh, I can show my clients what it's going to look like over top of another color uh, because I do generally use these as a fade, so there's really no point in just having a full coverage swatch, swatch of it because I'll never use it that way. Um, this is really pretty. There's lots of different sizes of glitter in there. And yeah, so one day I'm going to get better at my overhead swatching. Um, today was not that day. I'm sorry I'm out of frame. But you can almost see here there's that subtle little iridescent shimmer um, and you'll see it in this one too that just gives these like a really like 
luminescence about them, I'll say, to be fancy. Um, and I really like it. I think it's super pretty, and they're definitely unique, and I like them. Um, I thought I'd go in for one more uh, coat just to kind of build it up at that end to give it a little bit more of an opaque look. Um, but like I said, mainly I just use these to show clients what a glitter fade will look like with this type of color. These are them all swatched together. I think um, they're really beautiful and I'm glad I got them. Now, I wasn't sure if this would be considered like a pink or a purple, so I thought I'd kind of swing it around the purples first. Um, and as you can see, like it sort of goes, but it's definitely more on the pink side. So I do... Um, I do stick it in with my pinks eventually, um, and I'll show you a comparison with my pinks as well. Um, but yeah, it um, it's definitely like one of those colors that, you know, it's kind of like pinky purple, so it, it definitely fits in with the pinks, and I really have nothing that's similar to it, so I'm really really glad about that and most of the colors I wanted to compare it to were OPI colors besides this Luxio Afterglow. Um, I thought I would compare it to uh, Pink Ladies uh, and that's from the Grease collection uh, from last summer and yeah and then um, Susie has a sweet tooth. Um, obviously this is more of like a pastel -y kind of purpley pink um, and then Enel Couture 127 Sassy and then my Neons obviously does not compare to those at all so now we have Aragato from Tokyo and I'm probably butchering that but anyway um, it's definitely more on the purple side and it actually does not compare to any of the purples that I have uh, so I'm really glad I got it I can't believe I was so on the fence about it but um I'm, yeah, it obviously doesn't <laughs> compare to any of these. Sorry, I'm just like rambling on about this. Um, I do bring the pinks over just to give it a quick breeze and it does not compare to any of those at all in the slightest. So it does end up on my purple wheel. And now we have gold key to the kingdom. OPI really has some of the longest names ever so I don't always print out the whole thing because I'm worried I'm going to run out of swatch stick um, but yeah this really doesn't compare to any of my golds I thought it might compare to um, Aurora Sands which is kind of further on the end but Aurora Sands has a little bit of bronze in there and this uh, definitely is kind of a solid gold it's more on that kind of neutrally champagne gold side um, it does have like, it is like a more yellow gold, but it does kind of kind of sit in that side as well. Uh, but yeah, it really doesn't compare to any of the golds that I have. And it is a really nice glitter fade color. These are um, the three from the Nutcracker collection together. As you can tell, there's like a gold and kind of like a rose gold, though it's more like a gold mixed in with a bronze and then a silver. Now, um, the silver definitely has some holographic to it and um, they all have like some matte white flex in there as well which I think is really unique especially to OPI and anyway I really hope you like this kind of haul collection swatch random video thanks so much for watching please like and subscribe and we will see you all later bye bye